What comprises this greater Philadelphia area? Well, the Delaware River is a boundary only on the maps. The Philadelphia city limits are mere road markers, pointing the way to a whole new world. First, across the Delaware Bridge to our equally industrious, equally prosperous neighbor, Camden, New Jersey. The destinies of our two cities are linked together by a spirit, a common good, that no mere river can divide. Two years ago, this was farmland and forest. Levittown, now one of the ten largest cities in Pennsylvania. For workers anywhere else in the world, this would be a miracle in itself. Trenton, New Jersey, the state capital where government is big business, but far from the only one. Like most cities in this wondrous area, Trenton is proud of its past, but prouder yet of its future. Wilmington, Delaware, a half hour ride from Philadelphia, but closer than that in kinship and spirit. Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, where every Christmas a huge star glows from a hilltop, where every other night in the year the sky is lit by the hungry furnaces of little steel, coal from Pennsylvania mines to feed two monsters that never grow cold, and then steel in myriad forms for many purposes. Steel, the backbone and shield of our way of life. Reading, Easton, Allentown, Chester, Pottsville. All these people and many thousands more are neighbors of the infant who sleeps in Philadelphia. And it's the dream of every little boy to shop at Allentown's Hess Brothers where a single toy can cost $5,000. Winken and Blinken are two little eyes, and Nod is a little head, and the wooden shoe that sailed the skies is a wee one's trundle bed. The Delaware River, winding 40 miles to the sea from the port of Philadelphia, the world's largest freshwater port. Here, a cargo ship arrives or departs every 30 minutes of every day or night. Within a 100-mile radius of this port live 21 million people, a greater population density than any other comparable area. This port, with its magnificent facilities, has paid the largest single part in bringing our miracle to pass. For this is the magnet, a safe harbor, free from storms and free from strife with less man-hours lost because of labor disputes than any other port in the country. Since the end of World War II, the world's most ambitious program of port improvement never has stopped. New facilities for docking, loading, storage, plans for dredging the Delaware to keep it safe for any ship, regardless of size. From this port, goods can be shipped overnight to more than 50 million people, one-third of the nation's population. Unlike many other large ports, this is no hotbed of violence and corruption. The tradition here is one of peaceful mediation, of steady employment. We've kept our waterfront clean. Only for the racketeers is there very little work. From the rich truck farms of New Jersey, food for the best fed nation in the world. This unceasing activity on Dock Street is a constant reminder to us that the waters of the Delaware surging down to the sea, this is our very lifeblood. And so sleep on. The future looks secure. And material goods aren't all we have to offer you. This city is rich in many ways. Fairmount Park, the largest city-owned park, and again we have to say it, anywhere in the world. Independence Hall, where you were born free. And guaranteed a free press. Newspapers, both great and small. So you'll come to learn 
not only the geography of your city, but its essential character as well. In the shadow of the new, the heritage and dignity of the old. You're crying. Well, you may have your reasons, but think of all the fun that lies ahead. The theater, like you, one of Philadelphia's growing children. There, for example, the Walnut Theater, the nation's oldest, but playing the latest hits. Someday you may play football at Franklin Field, or at least root them on from the stands. For in this town, there's always something to help you stop crying. To stand up and cheer instead. Connie Mack Stadium, named for a man whose name will never be forgotten in Philadelphia or the Baseball Hall of Fame. Sunday morning, a time of repose, if not of rest. And we're on our way to give our thanks for the many, many blessings we enjoy. A quiet Sunday. And a happy new year. The Mummers Parade, the grandfather of all spectacles, costumes that have been a year in the making, costing many thousands of dollars apiece. Wonderful. The Mummers are on parade. It's been a busy day. So many things to do. So get your sleep now, while you still have time. The years to come will be a tireless challenge. This miracle on the Delaware has been wrought in a comparatively few years. And WPTZ, one of America's television pioneers, has seen this miracle come to pass, has, we believe, contributed to its creation. For things alone will not make a city great, nor give a people a feeling of loyalty and confidence, a sense of belonging to a healthy community. This is accomplished largely by ideas, flashing in the night of complacency and ignorance. Since 1932, WPTZ has been sharing the lives of the people it serves, helping them find a better way of life. This proud tradition of service and responsibility has grown through the years, as indeed our city has grown with its sense of pride and accomplishment. A sign that flashes in the dark as a medium of communication. This is the role we play. moment of thought in a busy day. The sun is warm and life is good. You have seen your city and its many facets with a little envy and a lot of pride. Once again, welcome. <laughs>